Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Tasha's Cuisine. Today, I am going to share with you the best, the most delicious, unrefined hot chocolate, Haitian hot chocolate. I don't know where you are located, but it is getting cold, really cold here in New England. And this is one of the best hot chocolate that will keep you warm and cozy. The thing is to really make this hot chocolate, you really have to have the unrefined chocolate. Most of the time, you probably will have to ask a friend who's going to Haiti to bring you some, or you could probably check in the Caribbean store or Haitian store to see if you can find it. But this is the best. This is not your regular type of hot chocolate that you will find you know, at any um, store. This is the best hot chocolate, unrefined, homemade. So I hope you like this recipe. Please share this channel with your friends and your family. As usual, thanks for watching. Let's get started. Okay guys, as you can see, this is how I'm enjoying this hot chocolate this morning. Super delicious and this is the traditional way to enjoy it. To dip the bread in the chocolate and you are going to love, love, love it. So let me tell you exactly how I prepare this. First, be sure to have all the ingredients that you see in this video. Um, the cinnamons, the star anise, the, um, of course, the unrefined chocolate. Um, it looks exactly like this. As you can see, we are going to make it from scratch. And nutmeg will add lots of flavor to your hot cocoa as well. As you can see, I'm not using the cinnamon powder. I'm using the cinnamon sticks. Definitely try everything that you see in this video and your hot cocoa will taste delicious, just like back home. Um, and I'm also using the vanilla, the white vanilla. Definitely get this one too. And carnation evaporated milk. So be sure to have all the tools, ingredients that you see in this video so that you can make your hot cocoa just like you see in this video. So I grated the um, unrefined chocolate and this is exactly how it looks like. So now I hope you have a beautiful saucepan like this, just like mine um, at home. I'm going to boil the water just like you can see here. I added the cinnamon sticks, the star anise, the nutmeg. Um, this will add lots of flavor to the water. I know some people do it differently, but I guarantee you my process may be different, but it's the same result and you are going to love, 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 love the flavor that the cinnamon sticks, the star anise, the nutmeg is adding by boiling it first okay so I'm also adding three tablespoons of sugar um, so the thing is the the unrefined chocolate is bitter so you are going to be sure to add sugar okay um, I know it seems like it's a lot but it's very bitter so you are going to need to add sugar and I really hope that you have a friend who's going to Haiti that can bring you um, the unrefined chocolate as you can see it's very good um, all natural full of vitamins I guarantee you that this is the best way to drink chocolate and once you drink your chocolate like this you can't go back because everything else will taste you know <laughs> just not the same because this is the best authentic way to drink your uh, chocolate so I'm going to strain it um, and uh, I'm not going to remove the anise or the cinnamon. I am going to save them, um, I, like you can see here in the video. Uh, and then the next thing that I am going to do after I strain the hot chocolate is um, boiling it with the carnation milk. And uh, yeah, just like you see here, be sure that you strain it. And because I grated the chocolate, I don't have to do it several times. As you can see here, I don't have to do it several times. So now I am going to let the hot chocolate boil with the carnation evaporated milk. And then my preference, I am going to add um, a little bit of butter. Okay, 
Um, this is totally optional. I don't know if you know most people add butter in their hot chocolate, but this is my preference. And then I'm going to add the um, vanilla, um, just a tiny bit. So I tasted the chocolate and I see that I needed a little bit more. So I added um, a sprinkle of salt and again, two um, teaspoon of sugar so guys as you can see here it's looking delicious already right so I'm going to let it boil for a good 10 minutes um, 10 to 15 minutes low heat on low heat and then you're going to have your um, delicious hot chocolate I really hope that you enjoyed this video guys please be sure to share with your friends your family Taisha's Cuisine is on YouTube sharing Haitian res recipes life topics if you have any questions for me do not hesitate to put your comment down below and I will try my best to um, reach out to you guys and work on your request um, all I ask is to subscribe and invite your friends as you can see guys this is looking super delicious um, I hope you enjoy it and again the traditional way to enjoy this is to dip the bread into the hot chocolate and you are going to love 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 this and once you try this you can't go back to the regular chocolate that um, you know we have here in America be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon with more videos. Bye now.